Mm, that's some bad dents. Smashed windshield. Terrible. You have power of attorney from your son-in-law? No, I don't. Well, then you're the wrong person to sue him because you're not the owner of the car. Got it? Yes, I still do. Good. Sometimes <sighs> you scam, sometimes you get scammed. Yeah. Sometimes a scammer doesn't work. Doesn't work. Okay. So it's not your car. Didn't you tell me it was your son-in-law's car? Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, then how do you get to sue him if it's your son-in-law's car? I'm making payments on it. It's I don't care. My car. I got a possession of it. I don't care. No. Okay. What difference does it make? Okay. Why do you have possession of it? Your son-in-law wasn't there. What's it doing near your house? Okay. You know what I mean? You know what I'm yeah, talking I about? Understand. You yes. got what I'm talking yeah, about? Okay. Good. Would you return this to the plaintiff, please? <laughs> so, Thank you very yeah. much. <laughs> now, Mr. Newman. Yes, ma'am. How much money did you lend your... Uh, the first time I was at my, aunt. Aunt, my, my her older Just, sister's, I loaned her $35. $35. That was the first time. For gas and cigarettes? Yes, supposedly. Next. Then $25 after that. <sighs> So $60 altogether. Yes, Your Honor. Now, you want to tell me about the other part of your counterclaim for damages to your car? Yes, ma'am. Go. What I date went, did it happen? I went over to her house to collect my money that she owed me. On what date? On the 3rd of September. She didn't answer the door. I banged on the door. They were in the house laughing and drinking. Who or was whoever. in the house? I heard my cousins. Uh, it sounded like at least 10, 15 people in the house. They were all in the window laughing, what looking time? out. What time? Uh, I got off of work probably about 2, so it had to be about, takes me an hour to drive to town. I'd say about 3.30. In the afternoon? Yes. So she and a bunch of other people were in the house? Yes, correct, Your Honor. And? And then I banged on the door. They wouldn't laugh. They was laughing, wouldn't open it. So, and then my aunt said, oh, you don't think we don't have no gun in here, Roy? And I'm like, what? I'm out of here. So I jump in my car. Before I can even turn my car around, bam, my back window shattered. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know if it was a gun, a rock, or whatever. I just took off. I got home, seen my window was all broken. I had to go get it fixed. Well, you don't know who did it. I don't know who did it. I know it came from that house. Well, I don't know who did it either. Yeah, I know it came from that house. I don't know if she threw the rock or who threw the rock or who threw what. Great. Judgment on the counter claim for 60 bucks. We're done here. Thank you. Okay. So I love Parties are excused. Let me step out. Oh, you know what? Guess it was fair because the car ain't in my name. But he lied the whole time. Well, I think it was fair. I mean, at least I get my $60 back now, so. He lied about the $60, only $35, and I did not touch his car. So he got $60. Well, hey, what? he hasn't had me no more, so it's fine. It wasn't $35. I don't know what she's talking about, $35. But all this over, over a loan, I mean, I should have never even probably loaned it to him. Once you loan money, you got to just let it go, I guess. Why didn't he just wait for me to pay him his $35 before he started breaking up stuff and tearing up stuff? No, none at all. <laughs> no damage. No damage at the house. I don't have a nephew named Roy Newman. That's how she feels. I still love my auntie. I'll love her forever. So, I mean, if that's the way she feels about me, that's okay. I mean, I still love her.